Good evening, all. Going to make this fast tonight because I'm having internet issues. This is the reason I'm late. We went down in Chicago, my whole neighborhood, at 2 o'clock. Been on with uh, numerous times with Xfinity, complaining about it, but uh, until it's fixed, it isn't fixed. So I'm doing this using my hotspot, but it doesn't do charts the way that you think. It's phenomenal, you know, for the little things, but once you're into big calculations, drawing live data and so on, it has certain limitations. Okay. So let's talk about what we have here. CPI data came out today, and today is, you know, September 13th, 2023. We're about 6.50 p.m. I thought the number came out, just as I thought it would, a bit hotter than the market was looking for. How did the market react? It paid no attention to a guy like me. The probabilities went from a 92% prob percent probability a day or two ago uh, that the Fed would sit pat to 97%. So it's a lock-in as far as the traders think. We do have a PPI in the morning, the European Central Bank, and then retail sales to finish the week off. If all these numbers come in hot and, uh, the, hot, you know, I know what people think. I know what I think. We'll see what goes on. In early evening trade, you're back up in the stock market. Metal's a little lower. Currencies, well, why would they do anything in the euro? You're going to get tomorrow that decision-making process by the, uh, Ms. Lagarde. When I look at the gold market on a weekly chart, still very much in a downtrend. The red lines, the 18-week average, that's your big resistance point. you got to close over that to turn the trend back up. We keep slipping in the gold, just a sieve. It just keeps slipping away. Next support line right in here, this 1950. 15, 19, 20 area. Market's got a lower and low, but I'm not certain if it's a higher, higher, lower, and low. Remember, we had this outside day up. We took that day's uh, low out the very next day, and the market's working lower. Where's it going to? It might make it to the lower Bollinger Band, the 19, 18, 20. Why? If you've taken the outside day course, you know that when you have an outside day and you go through the up and you go through that day's low until you take that highs back up, the magnet is the closest moving average under the market of the Bollinger Band, but I always watch, are you overbought or oversold? You're very oversold. Do I think it has to get there? No. But I think it's done what I thought already. Uh, am I bullish? Not at all. All I'd be doing is saying, hey, I don't want to see the market over today's high, which is Wednesday. Barring that, it can slip to that 19, 18, 20. Gold, silver still stuck in this triple top area that it had. You can see how silver still lower highs, lower lows, very oversold it either in beds, which it's not even begun the process, or you start getting to the point where you're oversold enough and you can attract some short covering. Would I tell clients to deploy new shorts? No. Is the trend in any manner saying it's coming up? Not yet. I'm giving you the what ifs. In the copper market, the big resistance, as I see it's the 18-day average in red to the 100-day average in the green. Momentum is hanging here, trying to point down. We have lower highs, we have lower lows, and we're under the 18-day average. So as I'm viewing the market, until you get over 381.35, I think the bears have control. Possible goal, the 373 level. Platinum, bear market rally is how I view it. The fact that you're under the 18-day average of closes, you get a small swing line up, doesn't mean anything. It's short covering, not new buying. And in the dollar, why even gamble? Let's see what the European Central Bank does, and from there you make your decision. Again, we got a lot to talk about tomorrow, the live webinar. You're not going to get an invite if you didn't get one from me already. It means you're not in my mailing list. Just move your cursor up here, give it a click. It's that simple. You'll see an icon that appears there. Click it, fill out the form. You will get your link, the passcode to come in. I will open at 12.15 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. We will start recording at 12.30. It's over in 20 minutes, and we've already got plenty of questions. But if you have more, send them. I'll try to get to them. We are filling up with questions very fast. I'm Ira Epstein. You have a good day.